Hi everybody, uh, it's a little under three weeks for my prep for Junior Nationals. Um, last week my cardio was updated to uh, 45 minutes for five days. Um, and then the other two days are the high intensity interval days where I do where I push the prowler for 15 minutes straight. Um, I'm still progressing with that as far as the weight goes. I can load more weight on it. Um, but I still try to time that after my leg workouts and my shoulder workouts. Um, and then the diet has been the same uh, with the higher, higher calories than I was um, at three weeks for the derby show. But uh, there was an adjustment a couple of weeks ago. I don't know. I don't remember if I told you guys about that. But it's basically higher carb. Uh, slightly and a little bit lower fat. So um, some things have changed since the last prep for me um, as, as terms of the, the high intensity cardio and the calories. Um, the main difference this week is the uh, we're trying something different with my cheat meal or refeed. So uh, I've actually never done this before but my coach has uh, instructed me to take in more carbs just yesterday and today um, earlier in the day and then also pair that with extra cardio sessions as a metabolism boost. So uh, this is actually, I'm going to do round two of three cardio sessions today. They're half hour long, um, constant heart rate, high intensity for, or higher heart rate. So uh, those two adjustments with the higher, cal the higher calories and carbs plus the extra cardio for these two days only um, will hopefully kind of boost my metabolism um, to make a change this week without having to add more cardio or cut more calories this coming week. So uh, my obstacle today is that I'm going to a family cookout, and my family always makes awesome desserts, and I can't have any of them. Um, I kind of don't even really, I say I don't want them, but I know when I see them, I'll be like, oh man, this, you know, this sucks, I have to see all this food, but uh, I'm really focused right now, and I think with the cardio, just that I'm getting ready to do, that'll kind of hold off my hunger. I'm usually not as hungry after I exercise, so I'm going to do this right before I go to the cookout. I'm taking all of my meals, but I've made them a little bit uh, more flavorful, and I'll be able to cook them on the grill. I don't have a grill at home, so um, this is a treat for me. So I'm taking my chicken, um, and I'm pairing that with buffalo, or sorry, buffalo, but Frank's uh, buffalo hot sauce, and I've mixed that together, so it's like a shredded pretend buffalo chicken dip, um, and I'll have that with celery and uh, my normal carbs, quinoa. And then uh, one of my other meals, I'm taking my chicken and I'm cutting it into cubes and I'm making it with my sweet potatoes uh, to put it on a skewer so I can grill that. So that's something different. Um, and then also I've prepared my steak for tonight. It's a uh, I have round steak and I've got mushrooms and onions. I'm going to grill that up, which normally I just uh, pressure cook it or cook it to skillet. But this will be something different for me um, with the carbs and some asparagus. So uh Everything that I need I've got with me. I'm taking extra salad, just plain salad, uh, to snack on if I'm tempted with anything. Um, I'll drink a lot of water. I make this really weird um, apple cider vinegar drink, mainly because it's a good metabolism boost and a detox drink, but it also, uh, like if I'm craving something sweet or if I'm just in between meals, it seems to hold off my hunger and my cravings just a little bit longer. So I will be drinking a ton of water and that weird detox drink. Uh, anything that I can do to not be distracted by that food. <laughs> and then I still have to do one more cardio session to this evening. So um, depending on when I leave the cookout, I'll either have to come back to the gym and do it. Um, I've got, there's a gym at my apartment complex, but I hate it in there. So I might just like run outside. I might even just take my shoes with me to my parents' house where this cookout is in case I decide to do cardio there randomly. Um, but I still have 30 minutes to do this evening. And then tomorrow, everything will resume back on track as far as I know. Now my coach is making these adjustments daily, um, so uh, based on my progress, which this week my, we my weight was down a little bit, but it's still higher than it was um, at three week out mark from the last show. So I'm still fuller. Um, I can tell there is a difference muscularly. Uh, I don't know how much, but uh, with, with being at this point out, I weigh more, but I look leaner than I did the last time. So something has worked. <laughs> which gets me extra excited. Uh, as this gets closer and closer, I feel better. Um, I'm more motivated now because I can see these changes happening. So uh, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks uh, by getting just a tad leaner. Uh, that We're aiming for just, just a slightly sharper look than last time, uh, but to maintain my fullness. So I don't want to lose that to sacrifice for leanness. Um, but it's getting close. Uh, my prejudging will be on a Friday night instead of a Saturday this time. 
uh, finals will be on Saturday, so that that's going to include some different steps to take, which I'll fill you guys in on that when it comes time. Um, so really, it's just counting down the days now. Was it 20, 20 days? 20 days. So I uh, still got some time, but it is coming up fast. So uh, if you guys want to check on posing classes, go to my uh, facebook.com slash on the grind training page for class schedules, which will be every Saturday except uh, June 14th while I'm gone. And if you need some recipes, if you are going to your own cookouts and you want to stay healthy, um, try to get on that page and look up some of these recipes. I, mean, I posted some that are like a, like a vinegar-based coleslaw, uh, the buffalo chicken dip, dip skinny for you guys because you get to have more calories probably but uh it's not exactly what i'm eating but it's close enough um so yeah go there and find some alternative recipes to cook out food so that way you don't overdo it um and check back next week